Uh, good evening, guys. It's still Saturday, January 11th, 2014. I'm Gunnar. I'm dying. Call me dying. We are at part 11 of Breath of Fire 2. And Daisy Sanchez is finished. Isn't it sexy? Well, he titled it Beautiful. Well, we'll see if she gave him a chance to live after that one. Okay, he's still alive and Rand's our current model. How much longer am I going to have to stand here like this? Oh. But I got a spar in my party, because now that we have the therapy pillow, this fetch quest is finally over. We can do what we set out to do at the beginning of the act of this game. Or th this act of the game. Get into a great tree's mind. Never, needless to say, the guy does not have any brain or central nervous system that we know of. At least compared to mammals, we're going to activate our suspension of disbelief and go in anyway. And I'm feeling a little sarcastic tonight, but <laughs> that's the good time to do this dungeon. Uh, this video will be either longer or shorter. Uh, what, what I have planned really gets a bit of a hiccup with the, with the dungeon after this one. It'll either be in this video or the next one, depending on how long this one goes. I actually have my timer on for once. But this one's not too long if you don't end up running around in circles. We have the initiative. We haven't fought these guys before. Well, I fought them while grinding. But we'll show them off. I can see a Spar's Mushroom Girl form in action, too. And does she do <laughs> use damage? 72 with a death blow. My black magicians do more damage than that with regular attacks, especially if the enemy's weak against it. Needless to say, I'm only using a Spar because he is required. Okay. Ooh! Is that a therapy pillow you have there? Gandalf, did you get drunk while I was gone? You seek to enter my soul, is that correct? Of course! Yeah, let's let's make fun of, let's poke fun of the old drunk tree. Uh, I, w I want to say you're developing emotion there, Spara. Well, here we have a tiny little world, and basically the best thing to do is go in and talk to everybody. Now you can change parties in here, there are a few shops, nothing of... Tower of Memories, eh? Got a me demon in here. Well, we'll believe you because we just finished... Aren't you going to sell me anything? Because we just finished defeating cellulite demons inside of the Queen of Melodia. And I, I already ranted about that last time on how she's just going to regain all the weight. Oh, the Tower of Memories that holds your most precious thoughts, hidden away from the rest of the world. And you're not a dirty old man, are you? We ran into one of them in the last video, too. <laughs> uh, why are you in jail? Just so you know, oh, how irritating I seem, <coughs> seem to be having difficulty holding back this infernal speech impediment. Ah, you and me, guy. Not nothing in this town that would lead to a Tower of Memories. Why don't I have a spar in front? <laughs> we don't need to walk through any trees at the moment. So if we head east, we'll find the next town. I think the, bat the enemies in here Yeah, easy fights. These are back from the first third of the game. <laughs> Just fought them because it was easier to finish them off rather than try and run out the way for them to attack. And the second town, memories of his youth, so we got to see him as a younger guy. Town of his childhood, lost in old man's reminiscences. So, with the way old men tend to tell stories that go nowhere, would we just be going around in circles? Let's find out the demons. Sick up weaknesses in mortal souls and exploit them. Consume their victims' hearts and minds like parasites, feeding until there is nothing left. The end result is a mere shell of the person completely subservient to the demon's will. As such, it is impossible to tell by sight whether a person has been possessed in such a fashion unless you look at the back of their neck and see a little alien tail growing out of it. I, I just watched the SF Debris review of Star Trek Next Generation Conspiracy, so <laughs> that's on my mind with this. But whatever form they may take, I'm certain that one of them is behind my sudden senility. You must defeat it. I just want to buy some items from you, guy. That's why I came into the shop. Tell me about the Dragon Boot. Yes, we've gone through this whole act without learning anything about the dragons, or any anything plot-related, actually. In times long forgotten, the race known as the Dragon Brood walked the Earth. 
They were feared and respected for their awesome power. It is said they had enough strength to lay the world to waste. But despite this power, or perhaps because of it, one day they vanished, never to return. No one knows why or where they went. And that's all we have to learn <laughs> about the Dragon Root. What's that quicksand doing in the back there? That's an interesting background. Like your memories, sure. But a young grass man, I once had the opportunity to speak with the Dragon Root. They told me this. The fate of the world rests with us. I cannot even speculate by what they might have meant by that. They meant the fate of the world rests with them. They're in charge of keeping track of something that's going to destroy the world if it gets out of hand. That's what it means! But the fact remains that shortly thereafter the Dragon Brood vanished without a trace. Even if you haven't played the game, that, ga that statement makes sense. They're in charge of the fate of the world. Good or bad, it rests with them. And th that brings up the questions raised in Breath of Fire 3. Does that make them friends or enemies? It's not explained. <laughs> Until later, that is. what you get for attacking to someone who can counter-attack with a critical hit, bucko. Now we have one town to go up in here. My brother actually liked to bring Tapita into this area just to take that shortcut. <laughs> and hop up the cliffs. He, he did not like this area at all. <laughs> you better be defending. I don't know if he was. Well, he was. <laughs> yeah, we get we get a mishmash of old and recent enemies in here until we get to the main dungeon. That we'll get to it after talking to everyone in here. Three cities, only supposed to be two. You mean there's not a scare cord to accompany that? Hey, we finally found someone that's selling us something rather than giving us exposition. And, ironically, I don't need anything. <laughs> what do you have to say, little guy? Found the tower of memories yet? Nope. Should be able to see it from the lake to the west. Well, I don't have top of this, so we can't go swimming. But I saw nothing that looked like a tower in this whole area. But that's actually the flag to unlock the dungeon, rather than actually talking to him. So, yeah, we'll call you Gandarv and leave you to ride in your cell there. You've been there your whole life! I don't remember if the inn is cheap or expensive. There's no one here. I can't rest up. <laughs> Might as well save, though. We got a dungeon and a boss fight at the end. Feels like we haven't fought a boss in a while. Of course, it's been three dungeons. But, the next dungeon is a mixture of unique and very annoying. I'll, I'll explain when we get there. Actually, it will explain itself. Yeah, we can get critical hits too, bitch! Uh, that doesn't make sense when talking to a skeleton, but oh <laughs> If we come back to the original town, it has now become a dungeon. And for some reason, we cannot see anything in front of us. Pardon me! Loss of eyesight is a curse of old age. Distant objects I can see clearly. Nearby ones, hardly at all. I've got the opposite problem. I am... I am technically blind without my glasses. So I'm very, very nearsighted. Heck, even now, I can... I, I'm sitting about three feet away from my monitor. I can't read the text without my glasses. So it's not just the curse of old age, old man. Now, we're inside of a tree, but the battle backgrounds look like we're back inside the Queen's blood. Or inside the belly of the... We just fight, you guys. Run away. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, you can't see the walls in front of you. Oh, yeah, we, we do have to... F we... well, wait a sec. He just... He's trying to price gouge us. Oh, these guys are new anyway. I just realized I didn't re-equip the Holy Scarf. Why 
army men, and I don't, and they take one damage, I don't have Nina. It's your fault, Aspara! And I want Ryu and Lin for dealing damage, and Bosch for healing. But, since Aspara is required, he's just a bit of a support character who can't take more than a couple hits. What is he doing? Trying to shame the enemies by wagging his finger at them? They weren't even that good for experience! I feel ripped off! Re-equip that holy scarf. It doesn't change the little dance the monster's doing. Actually, I'll save my MP. Now, the one thing I recommend near the end of the game, buy as many vitamins as you can hold. Oh, I don't remember how to get it to those chests. Let's pay a thousand zenny. There we go. That's how you get them. Auto bow for Bosch, no doubt. And earth armor. And that also reminds me, I did not equip Aspara with that thorn whip I picked up in the last video. Nice little improvement, but everyone's still better at attacking than he is. Uh, th this is uh, this is the question of, do you want to have two lighter attacks or one stronger attack? Really, you want to keep the twin bow for Bosch for a good while. At least he didn't charge us that time. Back inside we go. Well, he's making our job easier. Instead of us running away, he's taking care of it. Would be nice if they... Well, actually, I don't remember if all the treasure chest enemies drop coins or not. I know the mimics do. I'm actually going to have to grind for some item drops for coins when I want to get to some more Manila stores later on. But yeah, accept his offer the first time, otherwise he'll raise the price. And we gotta walk around blindly for a little bit. So we know which way we're going. Always go up up ladders. If you step outside the door like that, you will very likely fall to the outside of the dungeon. I think we'll be fine. And thankfully, the treasure chests stay within your line of sight. Well, we have the initiative. We know what to do. We fought these guys already. The next dungeon is going to be fun. There's a time limit on it. Ooh, miso stew. That's actually not that bad. Remind me to organize my items after <laughs> I'm done with this video. Brand of healing won't hurt. Yeah, this dungeon's not very long, it's just slightly annoying in that you can't see your hand in front of your face. So, yeah, I think I'll do the next dungeon this video as well. That'll, that'll mean the next video is going to be shorter just because of the way I want to break things up for the rest of the project. But, I'm looking forward to it. Because after this, the plot finally gets going again. The character development done in the best way, picks up after this. And it's just really what sets this game apart from others of its day. There's the ladder up. Yeah, we should be able to outrun slugs. Even better if we have the initiative. I'm getting lucky with running away today. Now the chest. This is a one-time area. Get all the treasure. I did not go back to Mount Maori yet, actually. After the last video. Come on, Bosh. Finish it. Not good enough, Bosh. Seller for you.
There we go again, getting the critical hit on the mortally wounded enemy already. <laughs> that is what you can usually expect from Aspara. In fact, you'll be very surprised the first time he does more than one damage when you first play this game. I'm about ready to lob a smoke bomb down even though I have the holy scarf on. <laughs> Good shot, boss. You redeemed yourself. Unlike you, Aspara. Actually, if Aspara gets a single kill in this video, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure to replace... Shahim... when I get back to Township. In fact, maybe make him pose. I get more death blows than regular hits <laughs> lately. Nice. A courage belt, if I remember correctly, that increases attack power. Yep. You guys already have one. And you can buy these from the same Manila store where you bought uh, the the holy scarf. I just didn't buy enough, and I bought iron braces from the item shop in town. I think, I think I also got the one accessory that uh, Spire was wearing, the Romero Brace, also from the Manila shop. That prevents zombie, and comes in very handy when grinding on Monster Island using auto. Because there's one enemy on there who can poison and zombify you. Not after this chest, we just swing back up and around, we're on our way. Now the next dungeon is one of those that's hard to get to if you don't know where it is. And the first time I played the game I had absolutely no idea where it was talking about. Well, since we're in this dungeon, we need to get through here first. I keep getting ahead of myself. Ah, healing is not... Too... Ooh. Vital at this point, we need to drop a smoke bomb. That's what I opened the menu for. And it did nothing! Maybe I'm just cranky when I'm tired. I just want to get this part of the game over with. <laughs> Now I'll need to heal. Yep, as expected, Aspara did not get the killing. And we'll be seeing one thing in this, at the end of this dungeon, well, not this dungeon, but at the end of this video, most likely, if I go on with it, which is very probable at this point. Uh, you've probably forgotten about, after this long of a stretch in the game without having seen it, uh, you'll know when, when it happens. I, I was just thinking about... Uh, Good old Jed from the last video. He's a tough old coot. He survived, what, seven hits from Lin's staff? It's a short floor. Uh, no point in talking to these guys that I can recall, but we'll talk to them anyway. <laughs> so something's something sapping out his memories. One of the guys mentioned it was a demon. I think we're on to something. Well, none of these guys can remember anything. We are on the right track. And all of a sudden, we can see again. So, what do you got for us, Dr. Wiley? So you're the meddler who entered the old man's memory in search of answers. Congratulations, boy. You found them. 
locked in this old piece of Deadwood's mind are secrets that can prove detrimental to our god's ambitions. Oh my goodness, we actually have something referencing the Big Bad again! That's why I'm here. I'll erase the truth from existence, along with anything else I might find inconvenient. You wouldn't believe how many porno mags this guy had. Inconvenient. Doesn't any of this sound familiar, boy? You've already seen my handiwork in action, and I don't mean your oaken friend here. That's right, the town of Gate, all those years ago. I'm the reason why you became an outcast in your own town, town by erasing the memories of everyone in it. <laughs> but now you're here before me, threatening everything I've done for our god. It seems I'll have to erase you from existence as well. Well, it's personal. We're up against a plant monster with three eyes, a face, two arm-like tentacles, and a bunch of grass for a body. Okay. No doubt, he would be weak against fire. And his name is Alzheimer, as if the name... As if his actions did not convey any more of the meaning. Yeah, Spara does get a couple of offensive spells. What was that attack animation? It was like, ah, ah, I'm gonna hit you! Ah. It's like a little kid punching at something. And this this battle background, we're back in the whale. Trees do not have veins. <laughs> they, uh, they don't have blood at the very least. I forgot what Spore does. Let's check it out. It's not the same as nature. Yeah, he incorporates the memory loss in the battle, but it doesn't always work. At least I, at least it doesn't work the way I remember it. Aspire, you're fired! Sabotaging your own team. I'm telling you guys, I am not using Aspara again in this Let's Play. There, there is something top that can do later on that kind of redeems him, but really doesn't make it worth it. You might use him again, but there is no reason to ever use Aspara. I'm sorry, that is just poor character design. Fortunately, this guy's not giving us too much trouble. Okay, he made us forget that magic. Let's see if we can drain him a little bit. That attack sounds more threatening than it looks. That appropriate that you got the finishing blow. We have had our first personal encounter with something in his past. And he gained a level from it. Oh, Aspara gained a level too. You didn't earn that. N no! How could the boy whose life I destroyed possess such power? It's personal, bub. But it's too late. I've already raised almost everything the ulterior members. <laughs> Cold comfort, isn't it, little boy? <laughs> and he goes out in a blaze of effects. Now, as for getting out of here... I thought it was automatic, I don't remember. Oh, one guy ran away, let's make this easy on ourselves. Yeah, this is one game where it does a very good job... ...where the antagonists really get per- where it gets really personal for everyone. Almost everyone. We have a dungeon where exit works. We have a dungeon where exit works! That is a first for this game! As for getting out of here, uh, the answer can probably be found in one of the towns. I, I never talked to anyone in the banks. 
So hopefully they have the answers. Uh, I ironic that this is the part of the game I remember the least. Or actually choose not to remember. <laughs> Because the Highland and the Melodia Queen ones I hate just with a passion. Well, I'm lost in the young old man's reminiscences. Uh, sure, tell me about the prophecy. When the world is engulfed in the fires of catastrophe, heroes will rise and a dragon shall lead them. But as the dragon brood have not been seen in centuries, it seems the prophecy can never come to pass. A pity, actually. Hey, I got the power of the dragon in here, buddy. You want me to show it to you? No, not my pants. Why do I keep making those jokes? I really... Let's go ahead and rest off because there's no one in the other end. Free healing. And back up the hill we go. Should be able to get outside by talking to the storage guy in this town. These are pathetically weak enemies from the beginning of the game. Why can't I run? Got in with only one battle, thankfully. Alright, kid, you're our ki ticket out of here, aren't you? Yes, please! <laughs> I remember correctly. And now, exposition time! I must thank you all for exercising that foul creature. With him gone, I feel that perhaps a fragment of my memories may be returning. So... Can you talk to us? Oh. What would you like to know about? Oh, the forest. The Dark God grows stronger by the minute. His presence leeches the life from the forest. If his evil is allowed to spread, eventually it will drain the life from the entire world. But there are those who would give their lives to fight this evil. Even now, they are making plans to strike against it. Oh, someone other than us? They know about it? Travel south of here, and you will encounter them. They may prove a powerful ally in the struggle. Oh, all right. And what about the Dark God? Our God. The demon spoke those words several times. The rise of a dark god is an ominous potent. There is but one who can inspire such reverence among demons. Ugh, so much I can't recall. Curse that demon! Yeah, tell us more about the demons. Ugh, so much has vanished into the fog. But I also seem to remember there is a master who these demons serve. A being of illimitable wickedness. If only I could remember the name. Well, don't hide about it. Just tell us what you do know. What about the Dragon Warrior? I am afraid the demon spoke the truth. There is so little I can remember now. I recall the story of the Dragon Warrior who led seven great heroes to save the world from darkness. Here's our second tip that this is a direct sequel to the first game. But the details, they are lost. But, you said to travel south, so let's see what we do here. Decide to run into a battle. <laughs> I gave up trying to figure out the monster design a long time ago. This, like, this looks like something that would come out of Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> and... a new area. What do we got here? Danger! Zero visibility beyond this point. Turn back for your own good. I don't know why we're having this much fog lately. Something must have gone the fritz over at Heaven Tower. Then why did you talk like a robot? You, you, zero... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's saying it or if someone else is giving the warning. But, not much we could do. He did reference Heaven Tower. And thankfully Aspara does have warp. So let's head home and regroup. Now Heaven Tower is only accessible by sea. It is on the northwest portion of the map, kind of south of Captain. 
And Rand's statue should be done. Where is it? Ah. Ultimate Muscle by Salvador. Done with Aspara. I want to keep Bosch for the next dungeon, so we'll get rid of him. Or her. Or whatever the... Whatever it means. Oh, can I not do it while I shamanize? Let's put that diffuse orb to good use. And pass it. Now we'll need a spire again to get back to the foggy valley, but should not be a problem. Now I want a Lin and Bosch. I want someone who hits heavy without using a lot of time. So I'm sorry, Nina, but I'm gonna take Sten. Magic, the uh, magic casting animation will just eat up time in the next dungeon. Every time I do something new, it broaden my, broadens my understanding of the world. This modeling is a curious experience indeed. Fascinating. Yeah, I'll just run inside the headquarters to get instant healing, save up, and we'll be on our way again. Only we'll be going half an hour, we can do this. Now, there are two parts to the next dungeon. There's the dead-end way and the correct way, but it's good to go to the dead-end way, because you get some good stuff. And while I'm thinking about it, let me, clear, let me clear out my inventory a little bit, because I will need the room. <laughs> Just sell some old stuff really quick. Let's see, don't need this. Don't need this. I'll keep that for the moment. That earth armor, can I use it? I don't know, but I'll use those stat-up items while I'm thinking about it. So, stamina up, give that to Lin. Power food, also to Lin. Miso stew, I'll give that to Bosch. I never showed off Sten's Inferno. I'll, I'll be able to do that, actually, because his casting animation is nice and short. Okay, where we need to go is actually on the map. It's that little dot in the ocean to the northwest. So I want, once you find it once, it's not hard to find again. Yeah, this will be, the, be probably the last cruise we have to take on Grandpa that's required for a while. Yeah, it was between the Gate Peninsula and right over here. That tower sticking out in the middle of the ocean. Welcome to Heaven Tower, aka the weather control essential for the entire globe. Now we just climate control for Fantasy Star 2. It's also a trailer tool of all kinds of old relics and fancy junk. You won't believe how much museums and collectors will pay for the stuff you will find here. Why is it making so much fog? There must be some kind of malfunction. Oh, you don't look like a part of the usual staff. Are you prepared to by any chance? Virtual timing! Uh, can you let me in? Yeah, help. Yeah, please let me in. And this is what Toppin was warning us about when we got the gills way back at Fort Nagir. Is we can breathe underwater, but if we're in high pressure areas that are really deep, the pressure will eventually beat us. And I don't remember if time ticks while you're in the menu. It does not. And if you drown, it's not a game over, you just go back to the beginning of the dungeon. We, we want to go right here. And first of all, we have an armory. Another boost for Bosch. Okay, Earth Armor. I have that pair, I can just give that to Sten. Okay, just the Earth Armor. I'll, I'll come back here and see if it's good for... If anything else can be... If anyone else can buy stuff. Equip stuff for now, just that Earth Armor. Fight against this current, and the ability to dash 
actually makes this dungeon a lot better than in the original. Makes this dungeon a lot easier. So while we only have three minutes, it's more than enough. And I usually do not like time dungeons at all. With the primary exception being the original Wild Arms, because time stops in battle. Oh, no airlock is beyond this point, that's okay. Two exits here. Dead end. Let's fight the current. We'll get a free ride on the way back. And our first battle inside. I think time does tick down inside a battle that it does. So I'll just fight as quickly as you can. And my formation got messed up. Uh, these battles aren't that aren't that bad. Quickly get back into formation. And there should only be another room or two before. What we're looking for in here. First of all, a demon sword. It may or may not be better than what Ryu already has. It is! So finally, we're starting to see some stuff better than what was in Gats, or Guns. I think I'll go there at the start of the next video to make it seem normally longer. And a spirit robe. That, give that to Nina or Days. And you can't dash in here just because of the current. But we got what we needed. So time to explore the other half. And don't forget the stairs are right here. It's easy to not see them. Especially <laughs> to not see where you need to stand to climb them. Yeah, thankfully the encounter rate in here is very, very merciful as well. This dungeon would be a lot harder if you got attacked a lot more often. Now go ahead and catch a breath in here. And head west, young men. And women. Anyone playing this game? That's the way forward. We want this chest that was over here. Another 3,000 zenny, which is a lot more than we get from battles, even still at this point in the game. It feels good not to have to do grinding between videos, thankfully. Now, the rooms are larger, so we'll likely get into more battles. Guts pill. Permanent boost in guts. Give that to one of your melee characters. Yeah, we're... we're see... The only reason you you would even have trouble with this area would just be if you if you putz around and just waste your time. I think there was something secret in here. Hidden chest. Not that I could find. Cloud Eaters, what are you doing underwater? Go back to the sky. I'm over level and they still hit hard. But then again, it's Lin. The poor gal has no defense. If she would just wear pants, she would be somewhat protected. Now make your way over here at the bottom of this current. Work up. And climb the stairs. Free treasure. Ice shield, ice armor. I don't think they're any better than what we got. Maybe that Norse dagger is. Oh yeah. A little drop in luck, but that's okay. I thought Bosch could equip the ice armor. I was wrong. I'm making our way onwards and upwards. And, hey, we haven't seen anyone like her for a while. Huh, huh? Where did you come from? Oh, you used the door. How odd. You say you're here to stop the frogs? Well, I don't see any around here, but I won't argue. Oh, what, what, you said fog? Oh, my mistake. Sorry. Oh, you mean my fog, don't you? Wow, I have to apologize a lot today. I'm such an airhead. My name's Spoona, the Wind Shaman. Uh, you did ask, right? Well, the thing is, I didn't have anything better to do, so I decided to make fog! Lots of it! It was fun! 
I think. So anyways, I didn't really mean to upset anybody, I think. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about Granny! I know she must be really upset by now! Thanks for your help! I mean, you, you did help me, right? Uh, I better be going! See you again real soon, I think. So we finally have a new shaman! And this is the first dual combination we can give to somebody to... to make them change their form. Now... Bosch have exit? He does not. We have to walk out of here. I don't remember if exit works in here anyway. So yeah, I thought this was going to be a longer video by coming here, but it's actually probably going to be shorter than the last one. Make your way back out against the current! Which is a great exercise, by the way. When I was growing up on an island, the best way to develop leg muscles was to run in, along the shoreline in the shallow water. Those houses also depend on how crowded the beaches were. Now, I'll probably give that new bow to Bosch. Twin bow, if it doesn't do enough damage to make it worthwhile, no point in keeping it. Actually, have I even gotten into ten battles? Rand's statue may not be done, and he's required for the next area! <laughs> I, I can get that done off-screen. Oh, it's the ice bow. I need, I need to go and actually buy one. That doesn't take long. Yeah, I'll have to come back here and get equipment updated between videos, too. But while we're here, let's finish Bosch. This is actually the first store we've had in a while. Let's go ahead and sell the twin bow to free up space. Done with that. And done with these two. And just examine the rope to teleport right back up. Head outside, and let's return to town. I'll show off the first really good shaman transformation involving two. It will be on Sten. Unfortunately, there's not much incentive to use it because he loses his ability to, to grapple onto hooks. And if he's required, you have to have that ability. <laughs> well, sadly, he loses what, what ends up being a very awesome transformation. I mean, the first time, first time, this was the first major shaman transformation I ever saw, because when I first played it, I missed the water shaman. And as far as the statue's done already, that's right. Rand, Rand was at the beginning of the video. We put, we put, we put a spari in afterwards. We can put Bosch in. Instant, and we're gonna need Rand. And what does Bosch have to say about posing? <laughs> I'm proud of that Scooby Doo laugh. <laughs> All right, Granny, what you got for us? Let's go ahead and fuse. We want Sanamo and Spoona. Fire and Wind. And we've gotten only half the shamans. The other half will come during the rest of the game. And here's his transformation into a literal fire beast. Whoa! Fusion crazy successful! The fusion changed you so much, I'm not sure if you're the same person anymore! We have an excited granny. And I actually don't know if I'm going to get to use this. So let's just go ahead and show him in battle really quick. He actually gets a fairly useful new ability if you're grinding and searching for particular monsters. So what he can do is this switch ability. It literally loads up a new enemy formation. And he just fires off a Hadouken there. He's actually faster than Lin now. These Shaman transformations uh, really 
really make you rethink of who to use in your party later on. But they are so useful. One of the best kept secrets of this game. And it's just absolutely vital that you, that you know about them. But there's only one shaman that's somewhat missable. But you can get it, you can recruit her either the easy way or the hard way. I have never done it the hard way in this game. And what am, what am I doing? I was, I was going to show off the Wind Shaman on who, who else was compatible with, but I'll just load that up in the next video. Uh, uh, that's good enough for now. Cover those two dungeons. We are pretty much done with the second act of the game. This is, this is The next part is really the lead-up into the third act. So I want to thank you guys for watching, for tuning in. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, favorite, comment. It'll really help me out. Help me get a little exposure. Can't do it without you guys. So I'm Gunnar, I'm Dying. Call me Dying. You guys have a good Sunday. If I don't record tomorrow, I probably will. But if life is giving you a bad day, never be afraid to eat your pudding with a fork. Take care.